Hello, Mizzou fans. It's Darren Whitey with the Tiger Club of Kansas City. It's Tuesday, January 24th, and we've had two great guests from Mizzou Athletics today. Uh, first, Bob Nolte with uh, the director, assistant director of compliance education for Mizzou, and Dr. Brian Brown with the Mizzou Made Experience. So. First, with you, Bob, tell us a little bit about what you do when you go out um, to, to groups like this. I know tomorrow you'll be in God's country over at Blue Spring South talking to the Jaguars, but what do you do when you're talking to fans uh, like this for the Tigers? So at the Tiger Clubs, our main point is to reiterate some of the rules for boosters, making sure you're not contacting prospects. Uh, if you're providing employment, making sure that employment's legitimate, uh, and also not providing extra benefits. So our main outreach for the booster groups is making sure our boosters are aware of the rules. Uh, tomorrow when I'm at Blue Springs, I'm going to be talking to high school students that want to be college athletes, talking about the academic requirements, some of the social requirements, uh, and ways that they can work towards earning a scholarship. How can Mizzou fans find out more about uh, compliance uh, anywhere online? Where can they go? Yep, so we do have a page on mutigers.com. Also have a Twitter feed we're keeping updated, uh, at M-I-Z Compliance. And uh, Brian, with uh, coming back to Mizzou, you were 16 years at Drake, came back to Mizzou, and uh, earlier you had a lot of success at Mizzou and a couple uh, degrees, including your doctorate. So that's great. Tell us about coming back to Mizzou and what you're doing with the Mizzou Made program. Well, it's an honor to be back at Mizzou. Uh, for us, for me, it's an opportunity to really engage with student athletes one on one, but also collaboratively. Uh, there's some intentionality around the experience of student athletes, how from the very beginning to the moment they graduate and beyond, that we're creating an opportunity where they can learn certain competencies and qualities and what it means to be Mizzou Made, what it means to be a graduate uh, from the University of Missouri and have an experience as a student athlete that's unique uh, to others in the country. And so we're paying attention and being uh, intentional about how to create a culture where student athletes can thrive, uh, can be challenged, but also that it can uh, find ways that they can sharpen each other to be prepared for the real world. It's a great program. You, it takes a lot longer to explain than you just did, but you did a great job. Where can fans find out more about the Mizzou Well, Mizzou May, we're continuing to now rebrand. Previously, it was the total person program. So we're changing using the, the vernacular now to be more of a zoo made and it's going to start to really hit now it's only the first semester it's going to start to hit a little bit more of our website it's going to start to hit a little bit more of our social media so we're just rebranding and so stay tuned it's coming and there might be another person or two in the family that has a little bit to do with Mizzou. Tell us yeah. a little about that. Well, I'm really proud that my daughter, on her own volition, chose the University of Missouri to continue her uh, athletic career. She'll be a, a basketball player in the women's program at Mizzou next year. She's a senior right now at Rockwood High School. So I'm excited that uh, she's going to be uh, in the end Mizzou All right. Very good presentation today. Thanks for joining us. Next week, we got so much going on. I had to do a little notes here. Uh, Tuesday, January 31st, ESPN Recruiting Nation senior writer Jeremy Crabtree will be here. Very pertinent topic with uh, National Signing Day coming up. Then the next day on Wednesday, the, the National Signing Day caravan will be in Kansas City with Coach Odom. Uh, Coach Cross and Coach Heupel will be here from 4 to 5.30 at uh, Westport Flea Market down, uh, here in Kansas City. So look forward to that next week. Thank you, Tiger fans.